How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. A while back I made a tutorial in Premiere Pro about how to archive a project once you were done working on it. And I suggested that I could do the same in After Effects and there was quite a good response for that. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna to show you how to archive and reduce a project in After Effects. So today I'm gonna to be using this project which was the Mocha AECC tutorial where I showed you how to track a logo onto the side of a building using the planar tracker that's built in for free with After Effects. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out up there. Now what we're gonna be doing is reducing the project first which means getting rid of unnecessary files that we didn't actually end up using during this composition uh, creation whatever you call it in After Effects, this edit. So that's step one. And then step two is actually gonna be collecting all those files to dump them elsewhere so that we can archive it. And that way, if we ever decide to open that project back up, we're not gonna be missing files that were accidentally not included in that archiving process because it's gonna have collected and copied everything. Okay, so first of all, this is my master comp, right? In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reveal composition in project. Now it's this one here. So I'm just gonna hit enter and call it master comp. There we go. Now there's no confusion because I have this master comp, which was actually a different attempt at tracking it using the built-in tracker. And then this one was using Mocha. Now to understand the file reduction, it's pretty simple. If you click on any asset that you have in this project panel, it'll show you if it's been used and it'll show you the number of times it's been used. So used three times. This one hasn't been used at all, whereas this one has been used two times. So basically After Effects already knows which files have been used and which haven't yet. And so that's gonna make it nice and easy for After Effects to determine which files it can get rid of and which files it can't. So to reduce your project, it's pretty simple. Select the uppermost composition that you wanna keep. Now, this one is a pre-comp in this composition, which means that if I'm selecting this one to keep all the files that are linked to this comp, it's automatically gonna be keeping the tracking mat comp one because it's nested in it or pre-comped in it I'm using Premiere Pro lingo in After Effects. That's not all right. Pre-comped. And so because it's gonna be keeping this pre-comp, it's also gonna be keeping the files that are in that pre-comp. And so it has this kind of step down approach. And so you wanna give After Effects the highest rank of composition or file that you want to keep so that it can do that step down, looking through all of the different pre-comps and files that were used to decide what to keep and what to get rid of. So I just wanna keep anything that is relevant to master comp. So I'm gonna select master comp, I'm gonna come up to file, dependencies, reduce project. Now doing that, it'll say eight items that were not used by the selected items have been deleted. You can undo if desired. Hit okay, and now it has gotten rid of all of the unnecessary clutter that was in this project panel. And so now with master comp still selected, I'm gonna come back up to file, come back down to dependencies again, and collect files. Project needs to be saved first. Yes, let's save it. And now this little window will pop up. Collect source files all for all comps, for selected comps, none. Well, ideally you could just do for selected comps because that's the master comp that we have selected. But because we reduced the project already, um, we don't need to do that. We can just do all. Now you could just skip the reduce project step entirely and just go for selected comps when you have master comp selected. I quite like to see what that project looks like before I archive it, once I've reduced the composition to make sure that nothing has been left out accidentally or that nothing has been deleted accidentally. Because as I said, Control Z, you can bring it all back. So that's why I like to reduce the project before I collect all the files. So that's why I like to have it as all. Then reveal the collected project in Explorer or Finder if you're on a Mac. When it's finished, great. And then here it gives you an overview of everything that's gonna be collected and all of the effects that are used. So it's got three files. So it's got the video file, the grit overlay uh, JPEG, and my logo. Those are the three files that it's gonna copy to a new location. So you can collect all of your files into a new folder wherever you want to save that and hit save. And it will copy all those files over and it'll pop up this window with your new project file. It'll give you a report in case you're wondering where all the files are, where the source files were, which is handy because if you ever needed to reconnect this to your original drives, then it's all there, provided you don't change anything. Shows you which effects are being used 
it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice overview of your whole thing. And then in here, you've got footage. If you open that up, it will show you all of the external files that were used and copied and collected. And so now you can take all of that, you can zip it, you can RAR it, you can package it however you want to archive, or you can just keep it as individual files and send it to an archive on an external drive or on the cloud or wherever you want to send this so that it's off your computer. It's freeing up your space and you can carry on working with new projects. But if you need to, you can easily bring this back up, easily open it up and get back to working on it without any complications, without missing files, without missing dependencies. It's all there. And there you go. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. It's tutorials like this one. It's tech reviews over there on the gear bench behind me over there. And if you're interested in seeing some of the behind the scenes of how I do this stuff, as well as some of the actual work that I do rather than the YouTube stuff that I do, uh, check out my Instagram because I post stories and content there fairly regularly. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to have you follow along. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.